Welcome to The Leather Journey, and today we're going to talk a little bit, it's kind of a mixed topic. We're going to talk about uh, carrying cases for canes and ways, of, different ways of transporting toys, and a little bit about public rules of conduct. Um, public rules of conduct is a little bit of an older term. It was very common to hear that when I came into this thing 25 years ago, but it's not so common to hear people talk about it anymore. But we're going to talk about it in relationship to the toy bags that we choose to haul our, our, our toys around in and focuses on canes today. Uh, some of, most of you have seen my cane cases. This particular case uh, came from Dick's Sporting Goods years ago by Field Locker. And what it actually is is a bow and arrow case, not for the bow, but for the arrows for taking uh, archery arrows into the field. And it has two pieces of foam, one on the front and the tail of the case and little slots and you slip your arrows in through the slots and the foam. Well, that works very nicely for canes. And it's just the right size for my crown jewel canes, my very nice set of canes made by Canes for Pain. But obviously, I have more canes than my crown jewels, so this works for, for those canes, and I have a padlock so I can lock it. This particular case isn't made anymore. You can occasionally find one of these on eBay, but uh, an arrow case for, for bows and arrows for competition or field use, I find that to work nicely. This, this long canvas bag actually was made by uh, I believe it was made by the kink shop to carry their canes and their canes just slide in and it has a drawstring and it's actually a very nice case for carrying canes and anyone seeing you walking around with this wouldn't sus necessarily suspect what's inside the bag just like you know if i'm carrying that arrow case no one's going to suspect that i'm carrying canes if they know the case and recognize it They'll think that I'm into archery or something. Um, but I outgrew this case. It wouldn't care, hold all my canes and I needed a bigger case. And to be honest, the ideal case for canes is probably uh, an automatic rifle case that's, that's got foam in it and you can put slots and put your canes in. But that's where I get to public rules of conduct. I don't personally want to be carrying around an AR-15 case. If someone saw me walk into my house with that type of case, they might not might th not think anything of it. They might just think, oh, he, I own an automatic rifle. Uh, if I take that into someone else's home to a private play party or something and the neighbors see that, that might cause undue attention. I mean, in this day of see something, say something, I wouldn't necessarily want the neighbors calling the police and reporting uh, that an AR-15 case just entered the neighbor's home and he knows the neighbor doesn't own AR-15s. Would you please come check it out? And then the police show up at your door and the home that you've been invited into as a guest is now having to explain to the police why all these cars are parked out front and and why you're having a BDSM play party. So I kind of wouldn't put my canes in an AR-15 case, even though that might be the ideal case. Again, AR-15 case, if I'm going to a big convention, BDSM convention, I'm not gonna wanna walk into a hotel hauling an automatic rifle case. So I'm looking for a case that is vanilla in look that will cause no undue attention that we can safely transport our toys without raising suspicions as to what's truly inside the case. And that way we don't scare the vanillas. So I live in a golf club community a retirement community and people are always throwing away golf cases. And I looked at one of those and I'm like, hmm, it's got slots. That might work for my canes. Well, I brought home uh, a golf bag that had been discarded and I discovered that an adult-sized golf bag 
is too deep for the average cane. In fact, all the canes just got swallowed by this golf bag. And then, you know, you're reaching down trying to find, uh, find the cane you want. It didn't work, but I liked the idea. So I got on Amazon and I discovered that golf bags come in all different sizes. There's adult male golf bags, there's ladies golf bags, there are youth golf bags because youth start golfing at a young age. And even the youth bag, when I looked at the dimensions online and I measured my cane, the youth bag was still too long. Kept digging, kept digging. I discovered that they make a toddler golf bag for three to five year olds. Yeah, you want to start kids young. Well, a toddler golf bag is small enough that it's the ideal cane case. And it comes with this little, this little tripod. So here I'm carrying it into the dungeon, tripod out. I find a, a PlayStation I can play at. And this is the, the cover, okay? So when I have my canes in my golf bag, I can completely cover them up and zip the bag so when I'm just carrying it around, whether I carry it into a convention, into a, a, a private party at a house, wherever I'm carrying it, anybody that sees that's gonna see, that's a small golf bag. They're not gonna go, oh, Dex is carrying 20 canes around. So that's what I settled on. The golf bag seems to hold my growing expansive canes and actually has room to grow. I still keep this bag and use it when I'm traveling and I'm not carrying all of my canes. But when I'm playing locally, I like to go in with the whole orchestra of canes and the toddler size golf bag, I think I paid $19.95 for it. It's not overly expensive. So for 20 bucks, um, I got a solution to my caning thing, a vanilla solution that I think is not gonna cause undue attention Please in the comments below, comment on what you use to carry your canes or other types of toys that keep them, you know, uh, vanilla and not suspicious and, and uh, help us maintain those public rules of conduct. As we always, remember to subscribe, ring the bell, and thanks so much for watching The Leather Journey.